Brown County High School's Larry C. Banks Memorial Gymnasium plays a larger role in our community than just being a gym. It's a place where high stakes basketball games are played and won, where volleyball players challenge each other, where we cheer, where we compete, where we get pumped for big games, and where we learn valuable lessons from others. This is a place where students embark on the next stage of their life, and where we celebrate those who have sacrificed so much for our freedoms. All of these important and memorable moments took place and will continue to take place in the Larry C. Banks Memorial Gymnasium. But who was Larry C. Banks? Larry was born on September 21, 1948 in Brown County, Indiana. He grew up doing the things that kids in Brown County today do, enjoying sports like baseball, as well as hunting and fishing as a teenager. He spent his entire education in Brown County schools and was a member of the first graduating class from Brown County High School in 1966. While in school, he was known as a type of person with whom everyone could get along. He was friendly and a happy kid that everyone liked, including the ladies who found him to be quite handsome. His sister, Sandy Summers, described him as being a big kidder and someone who made everyone feel important no matter who you were. His uplifting spirit put others at ease. His favorite classes were woodshop and metal shop, where he helped many other students hone their craft and even lobbied the principal to allow girls to enroll in the courses, as they weren't allowed during this time. A mechanically-minded student, Larry had a natural ability to maintain and rebuild automobiles, which he enjoyed doing with his father, who played a major influence in his life. The Vietnam conflict was an ongoing war taking place 8,566 miles from Brown County, Indiana, on the other side of the world. Larry believed strongly in the ideals of the United States and was a true patriot, which is why he did not hesitate to join the effort when it came time for the United States to enter this conflict. Larry's father volunteered in World War II and was enlisted in the 26th Infantry, known as the Blue Spaders inspiring Larry to volunteer in the same division in the conflict of his generation. Larry left for Vietnam the day before his 19th birthday. After only 28 days in Vietnam, Larry was killed in an ambush while on patrol in a rubber tree plantation that was located northwest of Saigon. During this patrol, Private First Class Banks was with a machine gunner and an assistant machine gunner carrying extra ammunition. When the machine gunner was taken out, Larry and a fellow soldier, John Young, did not hesitate to act. With no regard for their personal safety, they stayed out in the open and picked up the gun, continuing to fire at the enemy, allowing their fellow squad members to escape, and melting the barrel out of the gun before being overrun. Both men were killed during this battle and were posthumously awarded the Bronze Star for Valor for their efforts. As Larry's award of the Bronze Star Medal statement reads, his bold initiative and dauntless courage significantly contributed to the withdrawal of the other members of his squad. First Class Banks' outstanding display of aggressiveness, devotion to duty, and personal bravery is in keeping with the finest traditions of the military service and reflects great credit upon himself. Although Larry's service was cut short, the war continued until 1973 when American troops were withdrawn. Larry was the only soldier from Brown County to perish in the conflict. In 1994, Larry's high school classmates, Michael O'Hara, Gus Schroeder, George Miller, and Lee Maggard, submitted a proposal with the support of the community to name the gymnasium in Larry's honor. The gym was dedicated on Veterans Day of the same year. In another effort to memorialize Larry and other Brown County veterans, it was decided that every year the flags in Nashville will be lowered to half-mast from November 7th until November 11th, each day commemorating one of the five major conflicts of the 20th century. Larry C. Banks' legacy extends not only to the gymnasium at Brown County High School, but also to the Larry C. Banks Scholarship Fund. The scholarship funds Brown County graduates going into vocational training, as that is likely what Larry would have done. Students who receive the scholarship pursue careers as dental hygienists, veterinary assistants, diesel mechanics, and more. To this day, a little more than $20,000 has been awarded to over 17 individuals. 50 years ago, Larry Banks bravely paid the ultimate sacrifice. Larry was not a celebrity. He wasn't anyone famous. He was just a boy from Brown County. Yet he died defending our country and upholding the beliefs of democracy and patriotism. Today, his memory lives on every day as students enter Brown County High School's gymnasium. It will continue to live on long after current students graduate, pursue their dreams, and fulfill their life goals. 
As long as the Larry C. Banks Memorial Gymnasium stands, so too will Larry's legacy. Because as someone once said, no one is ever really dead until they are forgotten.